Walk round the compound, see some pretty tigers. Walk round the compound. Walk round the compound. Walk round the compound. Hello. Hello. You have a blue chin. What happened? Did you eat a smurf? Which one was it? Brainy? Or maybe explodey? It wasn't Papa, was it? No, they just got done doing some painting. Some painting for our sweet guests. Took them in here. Hence the paint splotches. Hence the splotches of the paint. And what's not and what have you. That's how that goes. And you! Good tiger, how might I be of service to you? Yes, natal. Natal of the ladle clan. The proprietor of a kitchen filled with soup. Yes, it's warm. It's warm. Dare I say, it's hot. In Topeka. Where is he? Where is he? There, there. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's see. Am I getting it? Am I getting it? There. There he is. Look at there. Nice. Go live. And his eyes that can kind of see like shapes and light. We're pretty sure, yeah. Like, fairly certain that he is completely deaf. Can't hear nothing. Just can't. Well, actually, it's a double negative, so it means that he can hear something. You know what I'm talking about. Actually, do I know what you're talking about? Ah, one of those types of people. <laughs> well, you know, semantics are important. I agree, but sometimes, a lot of times, sometimes, a lot of times, the feeling and the context and the implied meaning and the shared colloquialisms all add together to create communication. It's not always about what I'm saying, it's about what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, all of you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello. We are here in the compound. The cicadas. They're out screaming in the trees. There's just, it's like, there's certain bugs and bug sounds that they're, they only are a thing. They only become a thing when it's hot. So it's like the compound right now, it's got, it's full of hot bug sounds, surrounded by hot bug sounds. Because, yeah, it's not just the, cause there's the tree things and the bit in like the grassy spits. And then, you know, the, even the birds are hot birds. Yeah, are they? I don't know. Maybe. Hot bug sounds. I will say the breeze is nice. The breeze is nice. Thank goodness for that.
Tiger. Ooh, nice. Hello. Hi. Hello. Back to sleep. Back to sleep. <gasps> it's woo woo. It's a woo woo spider. Wee wee wee. Wee 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 wee. Wee wee wee. Can I do the thing? Is it is it matured into its woo woo weeness yet? No. Oh, kind of a little bit. That's like an instinctual kind of thing that they do. So I can sit there and I can touch the web, but then the spider will kind of do more of a. It'll kind of wiggle back and forth. It's shy. Alright. Jazz over in there. Sleeping. I have oh, sweat. It's just got it. It gets to a point where it's like, look, there's nothing, can't do nothing about it. Hi, Munch. Where it's like, well, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to do stuff. And there's, and sweat is going to be a part of the proceedings. <laughs> It's just that, uh, sweat is just that, you know. It's that sixth person that shows up to a five person hacky sack circle. It's just how that goes. <laughs> mm. All right, so the uh, fundraiser is done, raised a bunch of money, surpassed the goal, fantastic, thanks to everyone who supported, and now the fun part, it's going to be the perk fulfillment, so Jamie and I are going to be working on that having zoom meetings and sharing screens with Google Docs and spreadsheets which I mean we've already done various things of that nature but it's like there's you know for something like that and there's a lot of people and there's a lot of moving parts and um We've like her and I, we've we have learned a lot, oh, and because you have to realize it's like we've been kind of taking taking the lead on like crowdfunding and perk fulfillment type things for a few years, made a lot of mistakes, meaning like oh did things that were more difficult or more complex or um, harder than they had to be, and then you just but you learn lessons. And then you figure out like, oh, okay, there's actually different ways to do this, or there's easier, and we can we can put more planning in this spot, or we can, you know, work smarter, not harder over here. And then over time, it's just like you just develop like a system. Where, you know, people are able to like, have a better concept of like what is expected and like knowing their role. Know your role, son. The rock says. So it's kind of like how the, uh, you know, Marvel's entering into the phase four of the MCU. Um, and then, you know, like we're entering into phase four of the, of the fundraiser. 
So like phase one was like the conceptualization. Phase two was the logistical planning. Phase three is the actual rollout and the execution. And then phase four is the fulfillment. Are you in here, Melita? I can't even see. There she is. I see you. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. She's like, it's a little warm. It's not so bad in the shade. That's, it's not so bad in the shade. It's just things are a little bit humid and oh boy, that sun. But when you sit in the shade and there's that little bit of the breeze, it's, you're like, okay, well, things aren't re really not that bad. So yeah, the cats are, the cats are hunkered down. They're staying in shade. They're actually staying like probably relatively comfortable at this point. I'm walking around with, you know, my dome getting hit by the sun. And they're just like looking at me just, you know, like, oh, not very smart. Huh. Bet you wish you had some of these orange and black stripey things that you could put on your, on your head. Yeah. And I put on a tank top. I could be tank top tiger. I'm rewatching, uh, I'm rewatching season one of One Punch Man. I'm very happy that I made that decision because I it it's been a while. Cause I I realized I haven't watched I, I just never watched season two. Um because I think like season one was on Netflix and then they, they didn't put season two, but then I recently, like within like the last six months, got a Hulu thing, so I realized like, oh, they actually have season two on the Hulu. So and but it's been a few years since I watched the first one, and I'm like, oh, let's go ahead and just revisit it so that I can actually go ahead and then jump into season two. So glad that I decided to rewatch the first. It's, I just remembered, it's so good. It's such a stinking good show. If, and, and I, people, if you like that one, then you should watch blah, 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 other anime reference. And I'm like, I'm not interested. I'm not, <laughs> save it. <laughs> save your recommendations. Cause uh, yeah, no, I, you know, I, I, and I, I'm like, oh, I know, you know, I, I, I am the, uh, when I like, when I say that I like a band, a lot of times it means like, oh, I, yeah, I like their hits. You know, don't go terribly too much into the B side. I know, I'm, I can be very basic with my content, the content that I choose to, uh, you know, enjoy. Very basic, very uh, uh, pumpkin spice latte. I get it. I get it. I'm sitting here talking about the MCU. I'm like, oh, I love Marvel. And then like, when people are like, do you like anime? You're like, yeah, One Punch Man. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Like, ah, oh, you're so basic. You're such a poser. And I'm like, I like what I like. I don't care. Whatever. And I, I guess like that's the other thing where I, I and I've I've had to make because I used to like go like so deep in the weeds, especially like video games was something that kind of really kind of taught me this thing. Um, where when I was younger and this is before care, I used to be like super super into video games. But I used to just be like I will play as many things as I can and I'll spend a lot of money. And I had to weed through a lot of trash. Don't get me wrong, I found some obscure gems. I found obscure gems, but I had to wade through a lot of trash. And then. I started to like increase like my job responsibilities. I started to increase my care responsibilities, my family responsibilities, all of those kind of things. So then I started to just naturally evolve a lot of my tastes for, for particularly like video games and like different types of content where it's like, no, no, no. I have to kind of limit myself to like the stuff that is like big and widely regarded and high, just like more big net kind of thing. Because I don't, I don't got much time to do other, other stuff. I can't waste. I can't do what I did with video games before, 
where I would just cast this huge net and then have to sift through a bunch of kind of crud, you know? Can't do that. So that's why I'm just like, give me, give me the old tried and true Big Mac, please. Give me Big Mac and a Coca-Cola. I will take that. <laughs> know what I'm getting every time. Delicious. There's another thing. I used to be a, oh, music. Used to be a big music snob. Used to be, and I used to be like very hipstery when it came to like musical tastes. Kind of thinking just like, eh, hey, you like so and then the judge. But then I started to realize like, no, you don't, you're not having these opinions because you actually, you know, really like, it's like you want to have something, you want to have an I'm special thing. I'm special and I like, I like the other thing that not a lot of people like and it makes me special. Since then, I've actually kind of like taken like an opposite thing. I remember, like I still, to this day, uh, there's that uh, French band, uh, Colors in the Street. Like I'm like, I get really bummed that they don't have more fans uh, and followers and that they're not like, because then I sit there and think like, oh my gosh, I must not have my finger on the pulse. Like when I find something that is like niche and obscure and like not like something that I like and not a lot of fans or not a lot of people know about them, I don't sit there and think like, hey, this is my special secret thing. And I, I hope that they don't blow up. I hope that they don't get popular because then I won't be so special. And I'm like, no, I want them to be popular because I want to like at least have this notion that my ability to pick popular things is like you know validated <laughs> yeah I actually kind of take an opposite I take an opposite kind of view I still I still follow the you know when every any time that they put out like a new song or new album I'll still be like oh what are what what are those uh what are those uh French gents up to the ones that make the the good sounds I still, I still keep, uh, keep up to tabs. Up to tabs? What the heck am I talking about? I still keep up to tabs. With... <laughs> up to date. Keep tabs. Keep up to tabs. That should be on a bumper sticker. Hey, just make sure, you know, keep it up to tabs. And that should just be like a slogan. Keep, keep it, keep it up to tabs. And that's just like a, a, a metaphor for just like life. Just like, hey, just... Make sure you're checking in on things with a thumbs up. Meme, pol meme people, meme police, get on it. Keep it up to tabs. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbist Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tiger fed. Big shout out to my extra fancy patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and supporting all the different things. I see you. You're so fancy. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.